Hey Scorpio, it's Zahara Stars with Lunar Astrology doing a bonus reading for you guys. Um, I did a bonus reading for Aquarius uh, last month and then I actually did it for them again this month and I thought each month I would pick a bonus reading for one of the signs. Um, I got a new deck. I'm just going to tell you guys this deck is deep. I know Scorpios can appreciate that. I'm a Scorpio rising and my moon just progressed into Scorpio. So I'm going to do a, um, a reading about, um, I'm going to interpret it two ways. Both will be in a love uh, type of reading, but also um, on a spiritual journey for you guys. So let me go ahead and get started. I'm, I'm, I'm really loving this deck. It's just fabulous for going deep, for going deep, deep, deep. It's the uh, Wildwood Tarot. So let's go ahead and see for bonus Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, please check the other reading, also Scorpios, if you haven't already, um, for September 2019 um, to see if your messages are there. Um, or also your rising or your moon sign. If this does not resonate with you, these are general. As always, they won't resonate with all of you. But I'm hoping to get the most accurate messages for you guys. Please give me the most accurate messages for Scorpio, sun, moon, or rising. Um, September 2019. Oh, wow. Okay, so in regards to a person, the King of Vessels is somebody that is what I always call somebody that has planets in the eighth house in astrology. And what that means is <clears throat> they've been through a lot. They're very um, deep. They, these are uh, still waters run deep. Their emotions are quite powerful, but they tend to keep them rather contained. Um, they're a bit mysterious. They, um, in some cases, can choose to live out their um, sexual fantasies in real life so they can be a player in some cases or somebody that's difficult to connect with simply because they're deeply sensual, they're deeply passionate, they're deeply mysterious, and they're in touch with their inner shadow they kind of they blend their inner shadow with the outer world meaning they don't really draw uh, lines between the depths of what they're willing to experience in life now this does not mean that this person is a player it just means that this person is <clears throat> has deep emotional depths deep desires um, and is really really powerful and mysterious but very passionate okay and they they like to <clears throat> excuse me my throat's been bothering me slightly so if I <clears throat> if I do this I'm sorry um, they can they can like to draw out the shadow in others in some cases okay um, they tend to keep a lot of themselves hidden um, they can keep secrets sometimes dark secrets they're able to keep those very well um, they like to examine the darker side of human nature and of life um, but overall this is a very intelligent very smooth um, very sensual sexual um, person and somebody that likes to challenge themselves they're not really much afraid of anything in other words they they can they can dive deep into any area, into secrets, into mysteries, into sex, into all sorts of things because they are intrigued by the mystery, by the hidden parts of the psyche, all that lies below the surface of appearances. So this person is very powerful, very charismatic, very mysterious. Wow. All right, so those of you that are involved with this person, I'm pretty sure you will know. Um, they could be another water sign person, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, the eighth house is ruled by Scorpio, so you guys are very familiar with all that. And this is the Knight of Vessels, the eel. 
and they're extremely emotionally intense and passionate but a lot lies under the surface they're they're not really easy to figure out and they may even come across cool and not so um not difficult to figure out okay all right so let's get some more how does this person view scorpio now scorpio please know that you can reverse the roles <laughs> this very well could be you okay very well could be you um sounds a lot like you maybe you met your match for those of you that are that are um involved with this person that's very much mysterious and intense and not afraid of much let's take a look how does this person see scorpio or vice versa like i said this could be your partner coming through here all right the pole star this is a very powerful card of transformation of lighting up the darker parts of life as well this denotes big transformation so they see you as somebody that is going to definitely that definitely has the power to transform this is an extremely positive card it's like the star card but it's this deck is so deep that it's even much more than that it points to a point in your life or in as a person or as a situation um, since this is how they see you it's somebody that illuminates the dark and the light it's somebody that prom promotes transformation it's a life transformation okay it's a life transformation it's a very powerful it's an eight also a seven and eight so deep transformation they're extremely sexually attracted to you they find you very magnetic so yeah it looks like the two of you very well could have met your match here for those of you that this does resonate with okay because <clears throat> you're both very powerful energies here and this the 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 pole star is actually maybe a little bit more uh not so much as as just diving into the depths and secrets and mysteries and keeping a lot of yourself hidden and all that stuff the pole star is more about transformative energy as if the spark of life like that just comes and and promotes some sort of change and also life changing so they see you as life-changing or having a very powerful impact on them, which is quite the compliment. However, it's like this relationship is, is, has the power to transform the two of you, and you both are, are of the same force, but different, but slightly different. I'm going to get another one on the pole star just to kind of clarify more about... This is either you, Scorpio, or your partner. Can you tell me more about the pole star? And see which one resonates more with you because the energies can go both ways. Wow. Let's see. I feel like, I'm feeling like the two of you are... like you are mirroring oops we got one here we go mirroring each other very it's like you're both not afraid of much you both are very strong you both are very resilient you both are very but the pole star is is promoting some sort of change, showing that some sort of transformation change is coming. And then we got the page of bows to clarify the pole star because it's gonna give us more detail um, in terms of, of how they see you or how you see them. I love these cards, they're just so cool. So the page of bows, okay, is is somebody that's that is protective that's aware that's always keeping their eye out for um opportunities not so much as a 
like a player opportunity, but just aware of the market, aware of the world, aware of, of, of everything. Um, it's a very uh, dedicated and protective energy. Um, this person will go the distance uh, for anybody, which sounds a lot like you, Scorpio, as well. Um, very communicative, very matter of fact, very uh, insightful. Um, but but this is really a protective energy and somebody that's a dear friend and somebody that's committed. Um, so that's how they see you as the pole star and the page of bows. Wow. Um, somebody very committed, somebody very enlightening, somebody very knowledgeable, and somebody life-changing, like a whoosh, power of, of, of transformation, change. Enlightening, bringing new ideas, new, just intelligent, wise, loyal, okay? Loyal. And dedicated to whatever, whatever love interest or, or what they start or anything, any endeavor in their lives. They're very dedicated with that um, page of bows with a stoat and the pole star. All right, let's get some more details here about what is this connection about. Please keep in mind this could be a friend, a family member as well, um, but or a lover or a situation, okay? Whatever situation it is. Can you give me some more details for Scorpio, September, mid-month? Um, 2019 what is this relationship or situation about can you tell me more about the night of vessels whoa you got a whole bunch that flew out there hang on a second Scorpio sorry all right I'm gonna go ahead and go with them whoa Okay, so we got the Eight of Bows. These cards are just beautiful. And it's the Hearth Fire, which is a gathering of people that come together to take care of each other, to warm each other, to enjoy themselves together. But the Eight of Fire and the Hearth Fire is about co like, collaboration, working together, warming each other, being there for each other, being supportive of each other. Um, in some cases, for some of you that have been on and off with this person or involved with them a while, this is about coming together after a battle. After a battle, after difficulties, okay? So let's see how this plays in here. And then we got protection. And Sometimes this card, because these cards go both ways, or they have two, two meanings or two sides, a positive and a negative, you have to kind of decide how it applies to you. But this can be like me, meaning needing protection or feeling like you're not protected or feeling like feeling vulnerable, okay? Um, as if this person brings out your vulnerability somehow or makes you feel but I don't really see that being because you're coming across as the North Star and the and the Page of Bows. So um, I feel like this person actually has a heartwarming feeling about them that makes you feel safe and protected or that brings some sort of sense of like um, as if you've been like if you've been in, in relationships that have left you, you know, feeling just beat down this person is like bringing you a sense of comfort and camaraderie and feeling like, I feel like you guys are like each other. You're like each other, but there's a sense of, of being, being like a feeling of being at home.
a feeling of being at home and coming together with somebody that's very much like you, um, but yet intrigues you. <laughs> if you're intriguing a Scorpio, wow. Or this is you, okay, remember, this is you. I mean, this is you that's bringing the sense of comfort and protection to this page of bows, the stoat, which is somebody very dedicated and loyal and, and, and protective and kind of like difficult to figure out as well, but has a lot of power, big, like a big whoosh of transform transformative energy coming off this person. And this person's mysterious and powerful too. Um, and then we got the five of bows, which is empowerment and the four of bows, which is celebration. But these are deeper, these cards, because the five of bows is about being through a battle, de dealing with difficulties, like life experiences, all the b bumping up against walls, getting rejected, dealing with struggles, and then and then rising up and getting your power and then feeling empowered through life's lessons and trials. And the four of bows is a celebration, which is after going through so much, whether it be failed relationships, difficulties in life, you know, uh, painful situations in life and being able to celebrate as a result. That's the, what these cards actually mean. Um, and in some cases, it's like this relationship is bringing out it's bringing out It, it gives you it gives you a sense of 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 heartfelt like warmth and and stuff when you're together with this person and protection and feeling you know but there's there's still a great deal of mystery around it and and it's like for some of you I feel like It's, it's, it's empowering you being around this person in some way because it's, it's challenging you and it's bringing out like, it's almost as if you both are so similar that it's bringing you a sense of comfort and bringing you a sense of empowerment and, and making you feel really good because you found somebody who you can relate to, who you can who you can, who, who's been through a lot, who's, who's, it's like, it's almost like you're finding protection and comfort in the fact that you've both been through a lot and that you, because of that, you find your common ground because of that, you find your, your, you find it empowering and healing and feel good. Let me see, what can you tell me about the King of Vessels? For Scorpio. going to pull three. Yeah, this. Okay. So we got on the king of vessels over there, clearance, the seven of bows, clearance, which is like Again, after the struggles, after the difficulties, 
or being through a lot, learning lessons, learning lessons, and then now being like approaching things from your lessons and being more wise or being wiser. And then we have the respect, which is earned through personal power. Okay. Um, again, knowing the way of life, knowing the understanding people and their psychology and all these different types of things. That's what this, this respect card is actually about. It's about respect that's earned through life's difficulties, through challenges, through events, through people, through understandings and learnings. Um, and then instruction, which is the 10 of arrows. So I feel like this person is very knowledgeable. I mean, obviously here with this, because just this in, in itself is a very, um, like I said, emotionally secretive, powerful person. Like you could feel their energy just being in their presence. They're very intense, but yet mysterious and secretive and looking for, they, 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 they look for hidden things. They look for mysteries. They're, they're very much intrigued by that. They've been through a lot of stuff, obviously here with the clearance and they, they command respect. And for some of you, there may be issues with respect um, from this person to you or vice versa. And, and then there's like instruction. So this person could be like, um, in some cases condescending, like talking down, always trying to teach you or teach something or, or whatnot. Or this person has a lot to teach you, could be an actual teacher, could be somebody like that. But this person has a lot to teach you or that you can learn from, um, or vice versa. You're teaching them even though they're very knowledgeable and mysterious and, and, and always looking at secrets and hidden things and whatnot. Um, but I think they command a lot of respect and they're very authoritative and they, 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 they like to tell people what to do <laughs> and they know a lot about the human psych, about the psychology. They, and again, they've been through a lot of stuff. They're very knowledgeable. They command respect here. There could be issues with you feeling like they're so, they're so, they're so powerful or they're so strong. They have this, this force of this mysterious energy around them that they're kind of vague and, and you, it's difficult for you to figure them out. And maybe they're not attentive or responsive as you would want them to be. Or you're trying to think like, hey, if I, if I reach, reach, you know, reach out to you or, or want to see you or whatever, you know, I need to have more communication, whatever. There can be issues because the respect card can go both ways. But I feel like this person commands respect. They're very authoritar authoritative. They are, um, they like, there's a lot you can learn from this person or vice versa. This person, your person could be this person and this is you, Scorpio, honestly. You're very authoritative, very mysterious, very learned, very aware, um, very charismatic, very, you know, someone that knows all the right things to say. Um, and so this is what the connection is, okay? Um, let me get some of what is going on here. What is this connection about, or what is to come with this connection? You guys know if you're involved with this mysterious person, but I feel like, let's see, what kind of issues or difficulties are there with this situation? about Scorpio. Okay, well, you guys have a lot of love for this person. You have a lot of love to give. You guys have a lot of love. Hold on, let me go over here. All right, so we got struggle, okay? There's been some difficulties here, and then we got the breath of life the ace of arrows. So there's difficulties getting things started with this person. It's been a struggle for you guys. Okay. Um, 
and there's a lack of generosity okay how this comes for you guys because these are the difficulties so there's a lack of getting things moving here um, and it's been a struggle they're difficult to get through to they're difficult to get things to go they're very like I said I don't want to keep being redundant but they definitely are quite um, they have quite a presence okay they have quite a presence they're very um, powerful my mysterious they have a, they exude a very strong mys mysterious aura around them um, and so some of you have been having difficulty trying to get this going and you may be feeling a lack of them give and take on their behalf with you or generosity of spirit um, generosity of 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 time um, because I see it's been a struggle here of getting things the breath of life is about life force moving quickly and fast and like or starting and beginning something that's healthy and 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 full of life and it's like there's there's definitely some struggles here coming through on this person's end in terms of getting it moving and you are having to make a decision about this about whether or not and then you got the ten of stones which is home and you want a solid secure relationship you want um, somebody that's able to give you what it is that you need for nourishment for fulfillment and you want a big love and you want a lot of love and emotions and this person has them but there seems to be some sort of resistance in getting them out because they keep it under wraps and you guys are you're 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 you really want things to move forward this person but and you have you're you're ready for it and you want the stability and you want to I feel like you guys really 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 are as intrigued with this person as you possibly can be but at the same time it's wearing you out it's wearing you out and you are really, really struggling with this because it's like so difficult to get through to this person and now you have to make a decision about what you're gonna do. Okay, so what is going to happen with this situation? Can you give me three cards for the outcome? For Scorpio. Scorpios this definitely is not a happy uh, ending here but let's see um, we have frustration okay it's the five of arrows which is about you wanting to leap forward and get things moving and the other person definitely not doing it and actually in some cases verbally hurting you or by not communicating with you or causing you pain in some way or you feeling like they're you're just getting so much resistance and it's causing you great frustration and then we got the four of arrows which is about needing rest taking a break pulling away just being like so you can regenerate and get back from like this person is exhausting you okay and then we got the six of stones which is exploitation which is taking advantage of a situation or taking advantage of your emotions or even you know and cross watchers please do not think this is always about you okay because this could be somebody else this i'm talking about this person who is the knight of vessels here okay 
Um, this person is very smooth, very clever. They're, they're, they, they have deep psychological insights into people. And um, sometimes people like this can use this ability um, to get what they want and, and feed off of it, okay? And I'm not saying necessarily that that's what's happening, but because this exploitation um, <clears throat> card and the frustration is like some of you might be feeling like it doesn't have to be so dire, the exploitation, because it could be like... <clears throat> For some of you it is. This is somebody that is manipulative and taking advantage or uh, enjoys the mind games or making you confused or, or um, you know, because this person likes a challenge. They, they, and Scorpio, I mean, what better challenge is there than Scorpios? Because you guys are ex extremely aware, psychic, intuitive, you know the dark, seedier side of life. You've seen things. You know you're you're the most intuitive and psychic. And this person is too. But I think they're kind of like your match here, which I was saying in the beginning. And if they use that negatively, okay. If they use that negatively, then you know. And everybody knows that. Like with a lot of power comes a lot of responsibility. And if you are using it negatively, you'll use it to exploit people. You use it to take advantage of people. And it doesn't necessarily have to be malicious. It's just something that 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 they just do because they can, or they're aware, or because they they want to. In some cases, as crazy as it sounds. They want to get you to break down and be, and so they can be in control. So they want to try to get you to be the one that goes crazy and calls them or breaks down and like can't take it, you know, because this person's very sexy, very sexy, very mysterious, very uh, insightful, intuitive, and secretive and, 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 and all that. And when the exploitation card comes out as a result of this frustration, it's like some of you could be feeling like, is this person messing with me? Do they want me? Do they not want me? Um, and that's kind of what that energy does. And, 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 and whether it's just to get you to break down so they can have some control or whether it's because it's malicious or they just, they're just on a power trip because they are so smooth or, and they have secrets and they have, you know, whatever, and they don't want you to know or whatever. It could be because of those, because of that as well. Um, but <sighs> I wasn't expecting that. Because I do see that you guys feel like there's a really powerful connection. You feel safe and protected. But then there's these. And this isn't going to be for all of you. So if you're with somebody that's like this. It doesn't mean this is necessarily this person. Please. this is These are general readings. And this is for somebody particular. Or maybe a few of you. Um, that you know it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. And you need to take a time out. And it's gonna, this this relationship and the situation with this person is actually going to transform you to where you're stronger you're you're you whatever you become very aware because of this situation because the rest card is about you know taking that time out to think about things and see if it's you know sometimes it's just like you're totally exhausted with the situation of trying to go does you know are things going to move forward are they not what's going to happen and through that you realize and you get your strength back and you fly away from the situation and you just go, you know what, this is not healthy, this is not good. Because I do see a great deal of attraction and similarities, like you guys are both very powerful, but it's like, it's like this, this, this person is, is, is very aware they got the, you know, the instruction they could be controlling or they could be you know they got the instruction they got the respect um like they 
demand respect and control of the situation and because it's been a struggle here and this card also can be um, be, as a result of manipulation, like when you're with a narcissist type of person, you need to, you know, you want protection or you need some sort of protection and you, to get away from the situation and it's difficult, but it's about spiritually, being spiritually challenged. You know what I mean by that? Like people that are just have, you know, um, not so good intentions. And sometimes for people that are sensitive, it can be very disappointing to be like, wow, I can't believe this person is like this. And then afterwards, you're affected deeply by it and you need some sort of spiritual uh, protection or awareness because they're challenging your values. Now, it doesn't have to be as heavy and as deep as that, but I told you these cards are very deep. Um, like I said, it could be that you feel very protected and in empowerment here. But I also see now because we got the the exploitation and the um, the frustration that maybe this is for you, for some of you, that if this relationship has been really draining you, okay, um, you need to get your empowerment here and go to what feels good, okay? Go to what feels good, who makes you feel good, who loves you, who makes you feel good, who makes you feel positive, because you can, you are... You are a challenge to this person, a big challenge, but it looks like it could be like, you know, it looks like this has been really heavy and weighing on some of you, okay? And challenging and heavy and weighing on, 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 on you and you just need to take a time out and think about whether or not this is healthy, whether or not this person is actually healthy for you. Um, because there's frustrations, there's exploitation, there's all these different cards that are coming through here that aren't giving me the greatest vibe. I mean, the feel, and this isn't, again, for all of you. Okay? Um... Let me get some oracle cards here. I feel like uh, for some of you Scorpios, you know when you have that feeling that is just leaving you not feeling good, like you're wondering, is this person, do they have secrets? Are they hiding something from me? Are they, you know, because that is the card of secrets and hidden things and liking to pull out um, the darker side of other people or to ignite it, which could be jealousy and things like that too. You know, it doesn't have to be so heavy duty. It could be just jealousy and stuff like that or whatever, but, um, it could be spiritually challenging for you, this person. I don't know. Or maybe they're just through their neglect or not being able to give you what you, what you feel you need or want and they're leaving you hanging is driving you mad. And it's wearing you out. Um, let me get some, um, some oracle cards for Scorpio. Can you tell me what messages do you have for Scorpio with regards to this heavy duty reading? Hmm, you got choice. I love these cards too. These are beautiful. They're the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. You have a choice here, Scorpio. If you're not feeling good from the situation, you have a choice to walk another route. There's these two staircases and the dove up here with a light going out the beautiful window of like, I can leave this situation, okay? You have a choice. If it's not making you feel good, be strong. Okay. Um, it, again, it may not be all that dire for a lot of you. It could just be, you know, this person is just, just so mysterious. You really don't understand what's going on with them. And they're just not allowing you to, and it's really taking a toll on you. 
Um, wow, and then you got discernment. Yeah, so there's uh, these cards that are coming out. I don't know. There's something not... I'm feeling like it's whatever it is, it's not making you happy. And you need to use your discernment. And you need to make a wise choice with regarding the situation. And I always say, if it doesn't feel good and it's causing you pain, it's not good for you. Okay? No matter how sexy, seductive, mysterious the person is, it is not good for you if you do not feel good as a result of what they are showing you, what their behaviors are, how they are treating you. Even if it's just down to ghosting you, ignoring you, that's disrespect, you know? And there's this respect card here, which made me wonder, you know? But, you know, it, it doesn't... It doesn't matter what the situation is. It could be a deeper manipulation of trying to, you know, exploit you in some way, um, you know, or, or whatever, or get you to change your faith or, you know, there's all these deep psychological things that are possible with this type of energy here. But um, even if it just comes down to disrespect and not feeling good, not treating you right, and you're feeling like you, you know, you need to get your personal power here to find your happiness. Um, because no amount of attraction and seduction and sexiness is worth any sort of pain and suffering and feeling miserable and like this. Okay? And the frustration of feeling like you're battling against Somebody who's not really on, you know, not really out for the best for you. Not really letting you in. It could be that they're just not letting you in or letting you get close to them for whatever reason because they are so secretive. But um, unless they're in like special ops or, or, or military or something where they have to be that secretive, um, you, you may have to, <laughs> it may not be so good. But if they are in that area, then okay. <laughs> then then okay, but the struggle and the breath of life is like really standing out to me. It's like it's just been so exhausting and the struggle and the situation and you just want to break free of it or you just want to say like, what is up? Like, why are you not, why are you being so difficult? Why are you not letting me get close to you? Why are you not, you know, whatever the reason is, but Scorpio, all I have to say is this, we got the discernment and the choice card here. Okay. I love you guys. I want the best for you always. And remember, do not try to make this resonate with you. If it's not your situation, you know, if you have some weird feeling about somebody, you guys of all people. So, um, but we can very much so get taken by power and mystery and seduction and all these things. Um, but just be cautious because this is discernment and making a choice and, and, and these cards are, you know, wow, I was not expecting this, but again, I'm just reading the cards and what they have to say. So this will not resonate with all of you, but for those of you that it does, the message is to be wise, discern, you know, about it, but also, you know, get your empowerment here because you deserve to be happy, okay? And if this relationship or this situation or this connection with their boss, a friend, a supervisor, whatever it is, it could be somebody at work. That's, you know, or if it is a love interest, whatever it is, it could be somebody at work as well that's trying to exploit you. But you know this person, okay, they're very wise, they're very knowledgeable, they're very mysterious, they're, they're, they got a lot of secrets, a lot of things that you don't understand about them. And it doesn't necessarily make them bad, okay? But because of the context of the cards that are coming through here, Somebody is very unhappy and it's it's been it's been weighing heavily. It's been frustrating Okay, and if this is a, a situation in your life That's just been making you feel extremely frustrated use your discernment make a wise choice and get out of it 
take a rest, take a break, let go, okay, if it's a situation, um, and take care of yourself, okay? Definitely. So I, I'm, I'm sending you guys lots of love and positive energy. I hope this helps somebody out there who's dealing with a person, place, situation, or love interest um, such as this um, to give you insight. Um, you know, you'll, if, if you resonate with this, you'll know. Uh, so be wise with it. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. You deserve the best always. And, um, you know, I know sometimes there are situations where you're at a job and this is a, your boss or a coworker and it's really difficult to deal with a situation like that. Um, but use your discernment and, and, and try to, you know, protect yourself. Okay. Protect yourself here um, from whatever this is, okay? Because I do see you coming out as the butterfly here. I do see you coming out on top of this situation, whatever this is to you guys. You are going to come out on top and you are gonna come out uh, unscathed pretty much. I mean, other than if it's a love interest, it's maybe a little bit more difficult for you because of course, you know, um, emotionally, but you guys have already been through it. You've already been struggling with this person and you're tired of it. Let go, move on, go to be more bigger and better things, beautiful things. You guys deserve the best. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining me until next time.